It's the fallout of his emergence as the party's presidential flag bearer at the last Saturday's convention, defeating his closest opponent, River State in Yes and Wike. I want to congratulate him and congratulate all other aspirants who participated in this event. If they didn't participate, it actually would have not been a successful event. Atiku Abubakar is however not losing sight to the fact that there is urgent need to reach out to the agreed party members who are not pleased with the outcome of the just concluded convention. Contested against me as a way to lead in that effort to unify the party so that we can face our real opponents, defeat them in the elections and begin the process of rescuing and rebuilding this country. Some party chieftains are however positive that the party will deploy its internal mechanisms to pacify the Southeast region, which is nursing the grudge of denying it the presidential ticket by discarding the zoning arrangement. I'm telling you sincerely, the Southern, Southerners are not threatening anything. This is a family problem. And when you have differences in the family, they always come together to resolve it. And I'm very confident that we are going to resolve. I believe that the party we strategically sit together and find how to deal with the matter. Is there anger? There's anger. Is there unhappiness? There's unhappiness. The people that were already feeling marginalized now feel completely ignored, not just being marginalized, they're ignored. The major opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP, lost central government to the All Progressives Congress, APC, in 2015 when it was voted out by the Nigerian electorates for failing to meet their expectations after 16 years on the saddle. Shapiro Suleiman, Trust TV News, Abuja.